On Thursday, May 27th, Hiller's baseball took on Millis. No, it couldn't have. Here's a ground ball up the middle into center field. That's going to score a run. That'll give Mr. Sheamus an RBI. We've broken the ice here. It's one to nothing. Hillers plate four more runs and take the game five to nothing. Hillers softball also took on Millis this past Thursday. Millis leading one to nothing, heading in to the top of the third. And this is hit in the air over to center field and gone. A grand slam home run for Emma Tomlin. She goes yard and clears the bases. Unbelievable. It turns into a six run inning for Millis. And they lead it seven to nothing. Millis plated six runs in the third and would take the game 13 to five. Hopkinton is now nine and two on the season. On Monday, June 1st, Hiller's track and field took on Medfield. Here's a look. And the girls are off for the second event of the day. Hopkinton getting out to a very strong start, but so is Medfield. As they are rounding the first curve. Hurdles are spaced around 30 to 40 meters apart from each other giving the athletes not that much of space between the, between them. We see Hopkinton athlete Somia in second place. Let's see. Let's see how she can uh, get an advantage on this curve. Uh, great strength Somia has is not only her speed, but her great form on the hurdles that allows her to go over quicker than her athletes. Medfield seems to have a bit of a kick. Let's see if Sonia can keep up with her. Coming down to the final, final 100 meters. One more hurdle after this. Let's see if she can make a move. Medfield in first, then Hopkinton, then Medfield again. Here comes the Medfield athlete. Can Sonia hold her off? Yes, she does. And then here comes another Medfield, Hopkinton, and we have one more Hopkinton athlete coming right up in lane six. Hillers boys and girls both take the meet. Both teams are now 4-0 and oh on the season. Also on Monday, Hillers girls lacrosse took on Medway. On the near side she goes, approaching. Ball knocked out. Scanavan. He's going to take the shot and net it. one nothing Hillers. Kayla Scanavan with the score. Center to Worrell. Worrell with the pass up to Lily York. York quickly approaching. Shot. And that is in. 2 0 Hillers. Brady goes up towards Donovan. Loose ball. Hillers have it. Here comes York. York. Feeds it out. What a great setup that was. York finds Worrell and Worrell finds the net. A 3-1 Hillers lead. Takes the shot and nets it. Good score there to make it a 4-2 game. Around the horn they go. York, out in front, shot by McCullis and it's in. A great setup by Lily York. Ball, York able to pick it up. York putting on the moves, out in front, shot, and Arena takes it and nets it. Beauty of a shot there by Jamie Arena. She had the pump fake. Got the goaltender fooled and was able to put it in. Hillers net six goals in the first half and take the win 10 to seven. Lily York netted four goals in the game for the Hillers. And on Monday night, Hillers baseball took on Bellingham. 
scoreless game heading in to the bottom of the third. Anyway, getting back to our out-of-towners. There's a fly ball in the left field. Left field, they're going to go over there, and it drops. That's going to be at least two bases. Going for three, and he's in there easy. Dylan Locke clears the base. That ball just dropped in. It had about a foot and a half fair. Left fielder Simpson had a good attempt on it, but tough luck, kid. Rebagger. He's got a good move, I must say. He really does. There's a ground ball into over the second base. Picks it up. Throws the first. That run will score. Mr. Locke will get a handshake from his teammates. Pillars plate five runs in the bottom of the third and would take the game seven to nothing. Hillers are now 10 and one on the season.